And welcome back, this is Baller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming game is Plus One Ninja, which is a great name. He is ranked 24th in his Platinum Division with 389 points and a record of 31 and 42. And here we are in the game. I am the Red Terran in the Northeast up against Plus One Ninja, still a great name. He is the Blue Terran in the Southwest. I don't know exactly what he's going for with Plus One Ninja. I don't know if um, his army is like five Marines plus one Ninja, or if um, in order to beat me, he'll need one additional Ninja. We'll see how it works out later on in the game. And the, the map is Steps of War, and I've played a lot of Steps of War today, and um, so you will probably be seeing a few videos of Steps of War coming up this week, or at least uh, already have. I do believe this is the last one on it. SCV going out to do some scouting before even the first supply depot's up? Is that what's going on here? No, he is going for the supply depot on the expansion wrap. So uh, this is the first day that I saw it, and I've already seen it twice. So, interesting build. I don't know how I feel about it in the refinery going up early as well. The refinery should be done um, almost before the... F wow. What is going on? So, okay, the refinery is up now, and the barracks is at 275. Uh, that is that is one of the earliest refineries I've seen. So I'm going around going, what the hell? So I'm going back outside, and I'm going, and I'm thinking to myself that the last time I saw this, the guy went pretty much three racks, uh, no add-ons, and pushed uh, with SCVs out. Uh, so I assume that this guy's gonna be doing pretty much the same thing. I'm even, I'm even trying to double check his name. I'm like, plus one ninja. That wasn't the guy's name, was it? He's not gonna do the same thing the other guy did, is he? Uh, so I do have, um, you know, my standard build pretty much going. Um, going for the, the second racks right now. His second racks is all way ahead of mine. It's uh, 32 to 9. Uh, so we're looking at about 24, 25 seconds. Um, I'm getting the orbital command. He's pretty much sticking with the command center. And what is this? Wh what is this? A reaper? Wh a reaper? When was the last time you guys saw reapers? Like seriously, I haven't seen a reaper since I used them back in 2v2 placement matches when I was playing with my cousin. Um, that was the last time I've seen reapers, and that was pre-patch. And, um, you know, the patch that basically said that they, I, I believe it was a, a five second um, longer build time to make a reaper plus um, the upgrade. Um, requires a factory. I never got the upgrade anyways, but that five seconds, you know, um, really, I was making four before I was moving out, so it was 20 seconds total that I was going to be wasting uh, trying to get a Reaper harass, so I really haven't done it, you know, in probably months. But here he does something stupid. I, I can clearly see you. So I run all my SCVs away. No problem. He's able to get one re one SCV, two SCVs. Uh, in come the Marines, and he runs away. And he will survive. But, yeah, Reapers. Does he have any more? No, just the one Reaper. So it looks like he was going into a, uh, fr from a Reaper harass into... Uh, tech, so I, I, you know that is something that is popular, is to go for um, the harass and then quickly into tech. But now he's gonna go for a four racks and a factory. He's not gonna have enough money to support that. How? I've got better income than he does, and I can't. Uh, 
Okay, with the with the three racks, it is a, a smart build to do um, because you can work it from one base, right? With all these SCVs here, and I am a little bit behind. I mean, but I'm still ahead on the harvester count even after the harass from the Reaper. Um, but I really with the three racks, that's that's the reason that it's such a strong build is that I can continue to produce Marines, Marauders, and and pretty and supply depots and SCVs, and I'll be able to support that with a pretty substantial army. But with four racks and a siege tank, you know, he's only able to get, well, two marines right now, and now one marauder, so, and then he canceled it and went for a reaper instead, <laughs> so now we have two reapers on the field and a third one on the way. He, the problem is that he can't really afford to be producing, you know, out of all of them constantly. Eventually, that will catch up to him. So I'm moving my army in because I thought to myself, you know, he came in with Reapers, man. And he, he probably teched up into that, not expecting a counter. So I'm going for the counter. Here comes one of the Reapers. I take that out. I don't think he even got a shot off. Uh, Siege Tank runs away because it only has 3 HP. I should have chased that down. Uh, Siege Mode did finish. All those SCVs going to f repair that siege tank. I don't have the firepower to finish it off with all these SCVs going. Um, so he will be able to finish off the first harass. But I saw that he all these SCVs were pulled off the line. So I know that I should have the lead in the income. And I'm starting to rally my troops right on the other side of the grass. I don't want him to move out. Um, but I am a little scared about the the siege tanks in siege mode, but I'm, I feel f um, at least partially safe b with the grass here. Um, if all else fails, I'll just, uh, you know, back up or move ahead, depending on how I feel it's going at the time. And, oh, that was so close, uh, but he did not see the army there. And, oh, I move in right as the siege tanks start was about to finish siege mode. I am able to take it out, stimming up, moving everything that I have forward, and he only has five marines and he is forced to leave the game. Do these guys have upgrades? No upgrades, not even stim pack. Uh, nothing on the way, no, no weapons upgrade, nothing. Um, so this forward position, this forward defensive position, while it would be great, if it was able to hold up uh, towards the mid middle of the game, and you could get that expansion very easily against uh, against Ter Terran players, it's not really that strong of a build. I would really rather see that against a Zerg player, even a Protoss player, if he went mass stalkers. But really, this is this is a build designed for for Zerg opponents um, with a with a Terran player, I can get a Reaper, hop up here, I can get Siege Tanks easily and, and wipe out anything you have up front here. Uh, so, the the forward position and too many production facilities. Um, he was able to keep it up for a while, but that was, it looks like because he stopped producing SCVs. Yeah, even with his harass, I was able to take a huge lead in the Harvester count early in the game, 25 to 18. That That's a huge lead. Um, that's what, more than a quarter of what he's got. Um, well, he's 25% below me. I'm actually over a third higher than him. So that's, that's a lot. Um, and that's because he couldn't afford to produce SCVs. He would have eventually run out of minerals and w would have not been able to produce out of all these at the same time. Uh, so an interesting build. Unfortunately, it doesn't work for him in the long run. So I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.